everybody, this is Cesar, and today's video is going to be about bar chords. It's a question I get a lot, especially from people who are starting to play the guitar. They find the bar chords painful, they find them difficult to master, and they're asking me if I have some tips or I can share some exercises in order for them to, uh, let's say, master the bar chords. Now, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to share with you a couple of technicalities, basic things that we all need to know about bar chords and an exercise that I think is funny and is not the typical boring exercise uh, that basically uh, would be a little bit tedious. So this is going to be the video. Now uh, the warning is if you already play the guitar and you already mastered the bar chords you don't need to watch this video of course, right? And another, another thing I wanted to share with you is that some of the videos you're going to watch during the next weeks, in the coming weeks, are already pre-recorded because I'm in the middle of the move to the US and the, the, the process is resulting really painful and longer than we expected. I don't want to get into the details, but we are getting there. So I'm really very busy. I'm traveling uh, very frequently and that's the reason why some of the videos are already pre-recorded and I'm just going to upload uh, new content that has been pre-recorded. Now, my first advice, and I know this is going to be controversial and some people are not going to agree, but I'm going to share with you my experience. If you have at home a classical guitar, try to learn bar chords in the classical guitar. And the reason are two. First, the fretboard is totally flat. And it's going to be more difficult, barring the chords, in a totally flat fretboard. So when you will go to your electric guitar or your acoustic guitar, you are going to find it easier. Why? Because anatomically speaking, the finger that you are going to use to bar, which is mainly uh, the, the index finger, right, has a little bit of a curvature to it. And then uh, when the fretboard is not totally flat, it's easier to, to, to bar the chords. Uh, in a classical guitar, like this one, like my Alhambra, when you have to bar, the finger needs to be totally, totally, totally flat. And this is going to require an additional effort and it's going to require that you exercise your muscles a little bit, let's say, in a tougher way. And then when you will jump to the electric guitar or to the acoustic guitar, you are going to find it easier. Right? That would be my first advice. The, the second reason why I recommend that is because the fretboard, the neck, eh, is wider than in an in acoustic guitar or than, or than in a classical guitar. Hence, it is going to even be a little bit more complicated to cover all the strings. But I am of the opinion that if you really kind of stretch yourself right, uh, in this instrument, and you end up mastering the bar chords in this instrument, the classical guitar, you, your jump to the electric or to the acoustic is going to be easier. If you don't have a classical guitar, there's no problem. We are going to do the exercise with an electric guitar, by the way. So first advice, if you have a classical guitar at home, practice the bar chords in a classical guitar because it would be easier for you then when you will jump to the electric guitar. Now, Barry has a technique. Uh, it's not rocket science, we, like most of the things in life, with the exception of rocket science. Uh, very bad joke, actually. But uh, the first principle you need to respect is that you need to bar very close to the fret. Hmm? Very close to the fret. You cannot bar here. Hmm? But you can, but it's not, it's not recommended. Eh? You need to bar close to the fret. Okay? The reasons are multiple. One of them is just pure physics and the other is that the closer you are to the fret, the best sound you are going to get and your other fingers are going to have more space to do what they have to do, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the first proposition I have for you, let me de-zoom a little bit here, is that you basically just bar and you move the finger the index finger across the fretboard and you focus on the sound all the strings need to sound clean and clear 
and you do this again and again and again for approximately five minutes and then you will develop the strength in your index finger that is needed to bar you can help yourself with the uh, with the uh, middle finger like this but I don't recommend it because sometimes you can use it for minors but when you are gonna bar majors you cannot do it right so just bar very close to the fret focus on the sound you don't want noises like this okay you just want the strings to sound clean and clear and you do it across the fretboard five minutes now before we move forward I like to bar with this portion of my index finger standing above the fretboard which is more or less if you see it I would say a little bit less than the base of my nail right anatomically speaking it helps me right and uh, the thumb is on the back of the of the neck helping with the grip let me give you a perspective so this is where your thumb is helping with the grip now in order to do the changes between bar chords entertaining simple and uh, get your ability to change from one to another quickly we are going to do a little exercise that is based emulating let's say a song a very famous song from the band police which is message in a bottle okay it's emulating the song it's not the same right now we are going to use four very simple chords we are going to start barring a b minor which is very simple it's like if you were playing an a minor with this fretting position but barring at the second fret okay b minor then g major bar which is like if you were fretting an e major but barring at the third fret then an a major which is same position but from the third to the fifth fret and we are gonna end in an e so the thing goes like this. Okay. The idea would be that you will exercise these changes and you will do like this. Okay, that is some finger picking with the right hand, but you can strum it. Very simple thing B minor G major A major E major okay your coordination is gonna make easier the changes between bar chords right and if you combine this exercise with the first one in which we have basically exercised the muscles on our finger on our index finger I'm sure you will get faster and faster and faster in changing bar chords <laughs> And this has been the video about bar chords remember kind of two exercises one in which you are uh, basically training your index finger the muscles of your index finger all across the fretboard 
practice, practice, practice. And the second, that little song in which you basically are going to master the changes, coordinating, eh? increasing your coordination in order to change from one to another. And the word is always practice. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you like the content. Thank you to all the subscribers, to all the new subscribers and the ones who have been with me from the beginning. We are going to be very, very close to 1,500 subscribers eh? and it's growing. Thank you very much to all of you. The channel is going to, of course, continue. I'm going to upload, uh, not in a regular basis now because of the, of the move. I'm going to keep on uploading exercising lessons and covers for all of you. Always for free, of course. And remember, we will see each other in the next video. And up to that moment, play your guitars, have fun, and be good. Bye.